Hey from Fuller to Fullest fam, welcome back to another craft cast. If you're new here, my name's Morgan and I'm your host. If you're returning, welcome back to the fam. We're so glad you're here with us today. I say we because it is me, my husband, and our two daughters in our house here in Southwest Arkansas. I uh, have a craft cast every two weeks and a garden cast every two weeks during the gardening season. And if you'd like, click that subscribe button down below and hang out with us every time I post. So we'll jump right in to finished objects because there's a lot of them. I kept a lot of goals on track this last couple weeks. So we're gonna jump right in. The first and most exciting I finished the conversion pullover. Y'all, this is a lot of sleeve and fingering weight yarn, but it is done. It is beautiful. And now that you guys have seen it, I can send it on its way to its new owner, which is my friend, Crystal, my friend and sister, Crystal. My mom adopted her as hers, um, which tends to happen with most of my friends. And I have, um, I have begun doing that with my child's friends because you can never have too many moms looking out for you right so um but my friend crystal is gonna look so stunning in this and i'm so excited that it's finally done this was knit in hedge no madeline tosh holly festival on tosh merino single um look at these neons y'all aren't those just y'all it's beautiful yeah tosh merino singles um and if you're a garment knitter you know that it's not suggested to do just merino it is super wash um but sometimes the heart wants what the heart wants so that's what we did i also finished and I did do this that day. If you go back and watch the previous Craftcast or if you watched it already, you know I said that I I would probably or I needed to uh, do the sleeves for this that day. And I did. I went and did that. So, let me. Isn't this little sweater vest so cute? Ah. I do need to block it. I blocked that one, but not this one. So, I need to wash and block this. But... Sweet Baby Rowan's sweater vest is done. Um, this is part of the Holly Jolly Holiday pattern that by uh, Bad Wolf Girls. It's in knits. Uh, Meg over there. And I believe her uh, Etsy is Bad Wolf Girl Studios where you can get the patterns. But And she's on Ribbler. And her YouTube channel is Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. But this is her Holly Jolly Holiday uh, pattern. It's one of the charts off of that. So, Baby Rowan will have his Christmas sweater. A uh, winter sweater, really, because it's it's reindeer. But, I mean, you can wear deer all year long, right? All winter long, anyway. And the smallest finished object, I finished a purple dishcloth which was a little over halfway done when you guys saw it last. So those are all my finished objects. Now, that said, I have a lot of works in progress. Some of them you've seen, some of them you haven't, because I had a cast on party when I finished that conversion pull. <laughs> it is what it is. So we'll start with what you've seen and then we'll get into the new stuff. So. First thing, I worked on my Scrappy Sunday project. I have determined I'm going to work on that on Sundays um, with my downtime. And I got a little bit done. Let me, let, me find my, let me find my marker. I moved it when we saw it last. Yes. Okay. So, last time you saw it, it was right here. So, I've gotten another full row of the purple. I did a full row of this red. And then I started... A row of this cafe color with what was left of from that blanket so that's that progress now I will tell you it takes me about 45 minutes a row on this project because um, <clears throat> like we discussed it's at least a full dad tall um, it's probably closer to 
two like this is not even a third of the blanket stretched across this frame so lots of this and this is going to keep me busy for a long time this is one of those projects that you know it's just it's going to be a lingering whip it's not something that i want to get done quickly um it, it's something i want to use up what's left of all of my um acrylics and non wool yarns so that's living in my mickey mouse project bag my aunt and i made this together i also have oh it's right here i have a small um sock knitting walking bag in the same fabric but there's that let's see living living in my dfw Faberfest tote are the two blankets you've seen uh, this one for the neighbor's daughter, the big sister next door, and that little red panda is where we were last time, so we've made some good progress on this. Not as much as I'd like to have made, but good progress. I'm kind of burnt out on these blankets because I made so many at Christmas, um, but I want to get them done, and these girls both have birthdays this month in February so I'm gonna get them done for their birthdays hopefully um but the let's just show you a close-up of that yeah, there you go that little red panda beaded stitch marker is by the shepherd's hook um she has an ebay store not an etsy store an ebay store um so there's that one and this is the progress on Gemma's who is um, my daughter's best friend and one of my adopted babies. So, and that little pink globe is where it was last time. So I've made some progress on Gemma's as well. Gemma's favorite color is purple. So this shades of purple yarn is perfect. It is Lion Brand Mandala Ombres. The neighbor girls is also um and i'm not saying her name on camera just because i don't know how her parents would feel about that so anyway our little neighbor girl um hers is lion brand mandala i'm not sure which of the mandala it is but the name of it is nifflers so those are living in my dfw fabric fest bag everything else you have not yet seen unless you follow me on the gram uh, where I am Mogo Fuller. So we'll just jump right in here. So I say that a lot. Anyway, I finished my oldest girl RJ's um, moonbeam sweater. So naturally I had to cast on my youngest girl a moonbeam sweater in this beautiful pink. Isn't it beautiful? I'm working these sweaters in um, Red Heart Comfort in the main colors. And then Joy DK. No, this is Red Heart Party. Karen Party. It's a big box store yarn. Um, acrylic yarn at that. And uh, anyway, so. Where RJ's was purple with sparkle um biddies is pink and just a solid but her i don't know if you can see it let's see you can maybe see it just a little bit there's sparkle in her color work um and rj's her color work was a solid without the sparkle so essentially they're flipped in the way that their yarns are and then, of course, Biddy's is pink and white, and RJ's was purple and gray. So, that is living in my cow print canvas bag by the Kitchen Clutter Shop on Etsy. I love these bags, and they're very reasonably priced. And the more you use the canvas, the softer it becomes. I really love it. This one's not a big deal. 
this living in my popcorn project bag by the Silver Shed USA on Etsy. Uh, this has become my um, brainless project bag. So currently what lives in this bag is whatever dishcloth I happen to be working on. So I'm just working on a second or another purple dishcloth. Nothing really special to see in those. Um, I love making all these dishcloths because one, um, you can never have too many. Uh, two, uh, one of my favorite gifts to give it for like housewarmings are dishcloths and soap, kitchen soap, kitchen accessories. Just do like a basket. I love baskets. I love adding a bunch of little bitty things in uh, to a gift. So I keep those on hand for housewarming parties and such. And, okay, this will be the last work in progress, and then I've got two ready to go to start um, that I'll probably start very soon. So this is my Hobbit. That actually, I think this is a quote from The Lord of the Rings, but it is a little Hobbit door embroidered here. And if I remember correctly, this is a Lila Styles bag. I don't have a tag on it to confirm, but I'm almost certain it's Lala Styles from Etsy. Um, and living in here is a sweet little baby sweater for a friend of mine who lives out of town. And I think they're doing her nursery. They're doing baby girl's nursery in oranges. And I'm like, well, then she needs an orange sweater. So baby Margo will get an orange sweater. This is a flax light. Um, I'm a tight knitter, super tight knitter. So this is actually a sport weight yarn, but I'm working it with the flax light pattern and numbers and it's coming out perfectly. I'm doing the two T size. Everything I knit is on Chowgu Red Lace and I always do my sleeves on nine inch circulars. Let me get a little bit of my dry. I'm having Slim Plus. While I'm chatting with you guys today in my ID Life Slim Plus shaker bottle. So, all right. So, sweet little flax light sweater, which is on my Make 9. I figured I would have a couple babies to make for this year. Um, so, I intended to use that flax light that was on my Make 9 for a baby. Or that flax sweater. I, I just said flax sweater because there's the flax sweater and then flax light. It's the same pattern, but one is worsted and one is fingering weight so anyway sweet baby sweater and look how this variegation does okay this is a variegated yarn it's not a self-striping so as the circumference of the yoke increased it changed the way the yarn pulled so right across the chest it has this detail of the and it's just there because you see how the sleeve is striping similar to or pulling similar to the way the body did so I just think that's fun it's a cute little quirk of the yarn, and uh, Katie loves it so far. So, if Katie's loving it, then we're good to go. So, that's living in my Lila Styles Lord of the Rings bag. Love it. Now, I told you guys, when I finished the conversion pullover, I was going to reward myself with the Weekender and being able to cast that on. So I have put everything in the bag for it. This is also from Kitchen Clutter. It's got this beautiful buffalo plaid on the inside and it has have a Smurfy day button. Can y'all see that? Is that clear? There you go. Because I'm a Smurf fan. Me and my granddad, my dad's stepfather. That was our thing when we were together. Uh, we watched the Smurfs. He had a collection of Smurfs. He actually is the one who um, put that love of Smurfs in me. And so when he passed away, I got his Smurf collection um, outside of these glass drinking glasses that my grandmother had put up. And recently I've gotten those and I love them. Um, also, last Valentine's Day, um, my mom, one of her coworkers, got everyone candies in these glasses that she found at a garage sale, which were Smurf glasses. And mom's like, oh my gosh, Morgan would love those. And the sweet ladies at my mom's work 
empty their candy out and send the glasses home to me. So I have a collection of about 10, 12 of them that I love dearly. I do not let my children drink out of them because I don't want them to get broken. And hence my love for this little pen. So anyway, I am going to be making, uh, like I said, I've got everything ready to go for this. I've got my needles, uh, Chow Goo Red Lace, of course. And I am using Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Superwash in Aurora Heather. Now, this may look familiar to you guys because I did make the Simple Edition sweater for my friend Michelle in this. And this is the surplus. Okay, you guys. Like I said, I'm a tight knitter. But let me just, those of you who knit will get this. In the pattern, it calls for a certain amount of yarn to make this project. So, I ordered that amount of yarn plus one ball, just to be safe. I had a sweater quantities worth left over <laughs> because I'm that tight of a knitter. So I am rewarding myself with a weekender with it because I finished the conversion pullover by Telly Bean Knits. Love the sweater, absolutely stunning. It just took a really long time. So, I am all set to go to make, oh, we got a fuzzy. All set to go to make my weekender. And with that green, it's going to be so wearable. The next thing I'm getting ready to start is another cropped sweater. I'm not doing the conversion pullover um, again for Crystal. I am going to modify the flax pattern because she really liked that garter ridge detail down the sleeve that I'm working on for Margot. So I'm going to do the flax light and use the sport weight um, to make her, and I'm going to modify it and just crop it up in this beautiful colorway. Now my ball winder, you got. I'm so frustrated with that stupid thing. It is broken. I don't know because, I mean, it looks like it turns fine, but nothing winds correctly on it. So, I'm just going to get rid of it and wind them into a ball off the Swift from here on out until I get a new one. But, I am making her another cropped sweater because I love her so much. I'm willing to make her long sleeve sweaters. <laughs> In smaller weight yarns. Um, this is the Tosh Sport, which again is 100% Superwash Merino, but it is not a single. So this one will be a little thicker and heavier wearing for winter months. And um, she'll be able to wear the Holly Festival one in the spring when it's a little bit warmer. But that is living in my Crazy Craft Lady bag from my aunt. Um, so those are the two things I'm starting. Hopefully I will have finished, uh, at least baby Margot's sweater by the next craft cast because I'm not sure when her shower is, but my cousin is traveling down for the shower and I want to be able to send it down with my cousin instead of having to ship it and running the risk of it not making it to baby Margot in time or not making it to her at all because the mail is ridiculous right now. Um, and, and I get it. I've got fluffs in my nose, y'all. And I get it. You know, I'm not, that is nothing against the mail system. We are in the midst of unprecedented times. And everybody is shopping online. They're doing everything online that they can. So, naturally, shipping things is taking more time. And I get that. But if I don't have to take the chance of it not making it to her, that's what I'm going to do. And I know it will make it to her riding in the car with Casey. So, that's going down to baby Margot for Katie's shower. That is all for whips. And here we are in acquisitions. I'm excited about these. So excited. Um, I do have another book on the way, but these two books, I cannot wait to dive into. So, I've got to get this pile down so I can start on these first one that came in. Oh, I 
I cannot wait to get started in here. This is the Star Wars Knitting the Galaxy book uh, by Tannis Gray. Um, I already have the Harry Potter Knitting Magic also by Tannis Gray. So now I have the pair and I'm super excited to start these. I think the first thing I'm going to make, let me find it here because it's so beautiful. Um, is going to be the battle cowl. Um, let me find the exact name of it. Oh, there it is. Uh, nope, that's not it. Hold on one second. The first thing I'm going to make out of here is going to be, um, yes, Padme's battle wrap. How beautiful is this? I mean, can you see that? So beautiful. Um, and it's basically like, almost like a swancho. It comes down over, usually, but it's open and it wraps around. It's so beautiful. And it looks, it's a level one. And I believe this is by Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarns, actually. Um, but, ah. <laughs> uh, I need that in my life in every color. <laughs> because again, as I've told y'all, I live in Southwest Arkansas. So, like, I don't need a bunch of sweaters because I'll get hot halfway through the day and then I'm stuck in a hot sweater. Things like this, I can throw on when it's cool in the morning and take it off later. So, those I'm excited about. Slide these back in my bookshelf. In this next one, this is Knit Happy with Self Striping Yarn. It is bright, fun, and colorful sweaters and accessories. Uh, basically, it's all the things you can do with self-striping yarn besides socks. As you know, I make socks, but they're not my favorite thing. But I love self-striping yarn. In fact, I have three skeins of mustache yarns, good guys, bad guys, companion sets. Excuse me. That is my uh, youngest um, monitor saying it's too cold in her room. She's not in her room, so excuse the beeping. But I have three skeins of that that I really want to make things with, but I don't want to make socks. So this is going to be perfect. And this is by Telly Bean Knits. Uh, her name is Stephanie Lotvin. And um, there are some beautiful patterns in here. All of her patterns are so well written. I mean, I've never had trouble following any of her patterns that I've bought in the past, but you see that sweater that sweater looks really hard but all of the color work is done from a self-striping skein so it's really just placing the yarn in the right place I've made a sock arm sweater before um, but in here she has the sock arms cardigan so it is let me find that cover picture just love it. There's so many beautiful patterns in it. Look at these mitts. I mean, do you see that? Do you see that? And that all of that work, all of those colors are done with self-striping yarn. It's a matter of construction. So, oh, and these. I don't want to give away any of the secrets, so I'm going to the cover pages of these patterns. I mean, they're beautiful. So, I've got lots of new patterns I'm ready to try out. Let me put this back in my bookshelf. I've got lots of new patterns I'm ready to try out. I, um, so, when I finish some of these, I'm going to have another cast on party. <laughs> and you'll have more stuff to look at. But, this thing is getting a little bit wordy. I'm so glad you were here with me today. I bless you, and I'll see you next time.